Thankfully, one of my cousins sent me this writing, which helped me to enter into a productive emotional state during the coronavirus. It's a writing from, as he claims, one of the most beautiful Canadian writers, uh, Mustafa Daleb. Uh, if you look up Mustafa Daleb, he was an Algerian FIFA World Cup champion, or strong soccer player, now committed to writing. Humanity shaken and society collapsed by a small thing. A small microscopic thing called coronavirus has shaken the planet. Something invisible has come to rule. It's challenging everything and upsetting the established order. Everything falls back into place altogether differently. What the great Western powers couldn't get in Syria, Libya, Yemen, this little thing got it. Ceasefire and a truce. What the Algerian army couldn't get, this little thing got it. The Hirak ended. What the political opponents could not obtain, this little thing obtained. Postponement of the electoral deadlines. What companies could not get, this little thing got. Tax rebates, exemptions, zero rate credits, investment funds, lower prices of strategic raw materials. What the Yellow Jackets and the trade units, unions could not get, this little thing got it. Lower prices at the pump, reinforced social protection. Suddenly in the Western world, fuel went down, pollution went down. People started to have time. So much time that they don't even know what to do with it. Parents are getting to know their children. Children are learning to stay with their families. Work is no longer a priority. Travel and leisure are no longer the norm of a successful life. Suddenly in silence, we look back at ourselves and understand the value of the word solidarity and vulnerability. Suddenly we realize that we are all in the same boat, rich and poor. We realize that we had robbed the shelves of stores together and together we realize that the hospitals are full and that money is not important. That we all have the same human identity in the face of the coronavirus. We realize that in garages, high-end cars are stopped because nobody can get out. In just a few days, the universe was able to establish social equality that was impossible to imagine. Fear invaded everyone. It changed sides. It left the poor to live with the rich and powerful. It reminded them of their humanity and revealed their humanism. May this serve to realize the vulnerability of human beings who seek to inhabit the planet Mars and who believe they are strong enough to clone human beings with the hope of living eternally. May this serve to realize the limit of human intelligence in the face of the force of heaven. It took only a few days for certainty to become uncertainty, for strength to become weakness, for power to become solidarity and collaboration. It took only a few days for Africa to become a safe continent. Let the dream become a lie. It took only a few days for humanity to become aware that it is nothing but breath and dust. Who are we? What are we worth? What can we do against this coronavirus? Let's face the facts and wait for providence. Let us question our humanity in this coronavirus-proof globalism. Let us stay home and meditate on this pan pandemic. Let us love each other alive.
river as ever fall. I am the soul, the phoenix, the snake. Red flames, blue waters, and I awake. I am created of the yin and yang. Why balance the harmony God's choir sang? Eternal seas and eternal skies.